kept reasonably steady. It's her first starter as trial quite well. It's hasn't got the big blows. 16 to 19. We're all set. Red light is on. And they're racing now from the 1,000 metres. Sniparana got a fly start. Huru Lads got away very fast. Time to sizzle is belting through it on the inside. Westernise is there and Warbler's not far away. Fit the fence. Then came Not My Fight going up in the middle. Sniparana's out wide with Chatter Session. And well back in the field is Miss Vettel. Then came Tango Nito who's on the inside. Miss Vettel got very fierce there. Around the outside, Frito from Santander. And Trade Master is last of all. Huru Lads just in front. Sniparana's wide in the centre is Western Eyes is just behind them Western Eyes in the centre going up out three wide on the track is Chatter Session not my fight just off them Time to Sizzle travels okay it's about to get a split through now Huru Lads has got the lead Time to Sizzle's getting off its heels now and then came Chatter Session Sniparana and Santander from not my fight on the outside Time to Sizzle after his Huru Lads Huru Lads just in front Time to Sizzle won't get there Huru Lads hanging on for Harvey and Huru Lads has won from Time to sizzle third chatter session fourth western eyes then not my fight they are followed by warbler and further back in the field it was uh, trade master out wide just ahead of it was tango nita pulling up and then came fritto sniparana ended up weakening right out of the race and it was one of the last ones home santander was about third or fourth last number eight is the winner Huru Lads, $38 and $7. Time to sizzle. Tried very hard. And Chatter Session back in third place. But Harvey was very keen to find the front here on Huru Lads. And uh, it actually ran second to Time to Sizzle in a trial. But certainly turned it around today. And a strong trial form coming through there. Chatter Session. It was a good run. It was always out a little bit wider and battled on well. And Western Eyes was close up. But Huru Lads has done the job here out in front for Jason Pateman. Owned by SJ Roberts, SR Smith and EC Smith. And uh, that's its first start today. And it's run the time of 59.66. It's 8, 14, 10 and 1. Three quarters by one and three quarters with the margins on the second race. Let's go downstairs and uh, have a chat with the connections of Huru Lads. Yeah, Huru Lads leads all of the way. That was an impressive debut effort. Yeah, very good. At home, he's shown plenty. It's amazing Mitch didn't say something to you on the radio this morning. He worked in one of his first gallops. He goes, geez, he goes all right. I say, well, he should. He's a half to Mr Motown, so he goes OK. And yeah, he, he was always going to improve on that trial. I was quietly confident and price is a bit crazy when um, Martin's horse was favourite, or one of the favourites, and he only got beaten a length and a half by it, and he did a few things wrong if you had a good look at the trial. So it was really pleasing to... Well, is that the plan today? Show speed and lead and dictate the race? Oh, I left it all up to Paul. Um, he's been around enough. He's a pretty good rider. Um, I just said, oh, he should be in the first half a dozen. I don't think he'll be leading, but he seemed to get there pretty easy. A little bit of a scare in the yard as well. Yeah, I'm glad he ended up getting on and not saying, oh, bugger that, I'm not getting on. <laughs> yeah, he, I think it was part of my fault. I was in the road. He couldn't see him when he went to get legged on and all of a sudden there's this person up on his back, first time at the race, as he, uh, he'll improve. <laughs> he, he, he'll get better as well. Yeah, I think he will uh, give him a break soon and, yeah, hopefully come back during some of the good races. Job well done. Thanks a lot, Gary. There's Jason Pateman there. Does a really good job with his small team, Brittany. And um, he gets the job done at, what, 30-odd dollars. Huru Lads, uh, the son of Scandal Keeper, P. Harvey and the Saddler, who's starting to kick home a few winners now. He is, and Jason made a really good point there. The horse was only beaten about one and a half lengths uh, in that trial with Time to Sizzle. Well, Time to Sizzle started a lot, lot shorter than uh, Huru Lads did and uh, did do a few things wrong on that occasion as well in the trial. And to only have the one trial and then come here today, uh, I'm really impressed with just the professionalism that this horse showed, especially with a cutaway in play as well when a, a relatively inexperienced horse has the rail to follow and then all of a sudden it sort of uh, diverts in. I uh, thought the horse did a good job to m stay on its line and you can also see its legs just go everywhere. I think there's a, a fair bit of improvement still to come with this horse which is exciting and obviously one that they've had a bit of an opinion of uh, given that early days uh, Mitch had said well it seems to go nice after a gallop. So chatter session was a good effort back in third 
third and second home in the race was the well-backed debutante and the, the $500 purchase that started favourite in the end. Time to sizzle, but Paul Harvey just taking his time to come back to the winner's circle with Huru Lads, the son of Scandal Keeper, and it wins nicely on debut. Fourth home will be the one westernised who sat outside of the speed today and did OK to finish fourth. A few of these horses taking a long time to come in. I think being relatively new and the wind really a factor today. It is quite strong and I think we might see that it does favour leaders today. Just if you look at those flags, the, the breeze is really pushing them along up the back and uh, we've just seen that here. It's very hard to judge a pattern from a, a maiden race or a two-year-old race so I think we'll start getting a, a clearer idea as the races unfold now. But uh, these two horses have made their way back together. Probably uh, just a bit of greenness to keep them coming back together. Paul Harvey, when he was legged aboard, uh, ended up taking a bit of a face plant into the ground. This horse uh, got a bit of a scare and moved away. So uh, for Paul's efforts in uh, getting on in the yard, he's rewarded him with a win. OK, so Paul Harvey will take the saddle off and then catch up with Brittany Taylor after the performance of Huru Lat in race number two. The Western race pick made it over the 1,000 metres in race number two. So the two-year-olds doing battle there. Um, it was a big roar for the second horse, of course, time to sizzle, and she loomed up, but she just couldn't go past the eventual winner, who was too strong, Huru Lats. What a story this is, though, a $500 purchase, and for running second here today, just on a Wednesday, they've picked up $3,300. You cannot ask for a better situation than that when you've paid uh, so little for a horse uh, at the beginning and you've already made your money back without having won a race. In fact, if the horse had have even finished further down the track, they still would have made their money back. So very excited for the second place getter. But all credit to Huru Lads and Paul Harvey. Congratulations on the win. Now in the mounting yard to start with, the uh, horse made you take a bit of a dive, so you must be happy to get the victory after that. Yeah, he's a bit touchy, uh, a bit touchy, very new, uh, very raw. So going forward, you would ex expect him to improve. Out of the gates, he seemed really professional and just wanting to find the front. Yeah, well, I, I just jumped him posi positively and he, he kind of took me there. Um, probably a little bit unexpected to be hitting the front, but um, yeah, he'd done a good job, bounced himself out, and uh, but once he got, got there, he was rolling around a bit and a bit new. He'd only had the one trial leading into this, so very inexperienced. How did he go when the cutaway came and all of a sudden he's out on his own out there? Yeah, well, I was kind of looking for the rail even once we uh, straightened up. I didn't want to sort of stay off the rail. He needed a fair bit of guidance today. Congratulations on the win. Yeah, thank you. There is the Hall of Fame of the great Paul Harvey catching up with Brittany Taylor. Hooroo, lads. Defeats time to sizzle, chatter session and westernise. 8-14, 10-1 after race two at Belmont Park today.